Please. Welcome to the lectures in Surveying 2. Today's lecture we will learn about modern electric electronic equipments. In the old era, we used to for measuring like horizontal distances. For measuring the horizontal distance, we used to prefer what? We used to prefer the tape. And we used to prefer the chain, metal chain, engineering chain, different different types of chains. And in metal chain we have 20 meter chain, and then we have 30 meter chain, isn't it? So in old era, for measuring the horizontal distance, we used to prefer the tape or chain. While for vertical distance, we are having an equipment known as the dumbbell levers. For measuring the horizontal angle, we used to prefer the prismatic compass. For vertical angle, we were having the total light. This was part in our old era. These are the equipment mainly which we used to prefer or for measuring the area, normal planimeter. These are the equipment which we were using earlier. These were not the electronics, they were not, uh, they were the manual operated, full, fully manual operated equipment. These were like for horizontal distances. We were, we were uh, referring or we were using the tape or chain while for vertical distances we were uh, using the dumpy levels and for horizontal angles we were using the prismatic compass for these vertical angles the theodolites were based in the area of irregular bodies we, we used to prefer the planimeter by after drawing the uh, irregular shape on the paper we used to prefer uh, we used to use this planimeter to measure the area of that body so these were some of the equipment which we were using in a past era for doing all this uh, uh, for doing all this work in today's also we can use all this equipment but we have shifted towards the new side towards the technology that is modern electronic equipment we are referring nowadays uh, they will also do all these works only but the reason is that they will be fast they will be accurate as well as the degree of preciseness will be more so these are some of the uh, the modern electronic equipments, we can say, which we are using in today's era, in today's time, in this generation, that is EVM, electronic distance machine, or the electronic distance uh, measurement machine, or electronic distance meter, we can say anything, this is the EVM, this is what we use for measuring the distances, we will discuss these machines, then we have the digital theory light, which is the advanced version of normal through light and we have digital planning with and the total station. So these are some of the uh, electronic equipment which, which, uh, which we will discuss in today's lecture. Other than this, we will also discuss about the GPS systems. So let's first of all learn what is the necessity of using this EDM. The main, the objective of using these equipment is that either they are not the time consuming, they are the time saving equipment. We can save our time. Why? In old era, the conventional or traditional equipment what we were using, they were time consuming equipment and those were fully manually operated. So there was chances of accumulation of error too much. Here, the least count is also has reduced to a lot. So the chances of accumulating the error is as minimized a lot. So the degree of accuracy, the preciseness increases a lot as well as it is time saving. And today's generation, today's time, we have to so great that the time is money. That is the main reason why we are preferring this video because all the work, whatever we can do using this equipment, can also be performed using the other equipment what we were using in the past. So the mainly, it is for precise alignment. That is to increase the degree of accuracy, like transmission tower, for setting the columns in a building, as well as to check the distance between the center to center distance between them. For this, we can use this uh, EDM as well as to prepare the precise contour map. For this contour map, uh, for this block contouring, we used to prefer, the, uh, or we used to use earlier the total is uh, this, the dumpy level. Why? 
your belly or your hilly area and that you want to prepare the contouring that we also use the tachometer. Now directly using medium we can prepare, we need not to use the sunfi level, we need not to use the tachometer, let it be any kind of terrain. If you want to prepare the contours directly, we can use the sedium and we can prepare the contours with the good degree of accuracy. We can set the curve easily for railway as well as for highways to fix the center line of tunnel. We can use this EDM. What is the principle of this EDM? How it works? Let's see. It. We'll take an example of a line PQ whose distance need to be determined. This is the point P and this is the point Q. We want to determine the distance between these two. transmitted towards the receiver. This will generate the electromagnetic wave and will transmit it towards the receiver. This, trans this, electromagnetic, uh, this electromagnetic wave which is transmitted towards the receiver will be having certain phase angle. That let's say this is having the phase angle as phi 1. As it is transmitted towards it, it will receive the electromagnetic wave and it will reflect once again towards the transmitter. It has been reflected. So what this is doing is just receiving the electromagnetic waves and it is reflecting them back towards the transmitter. So once it is reflected, it will be having certain phase angle. Let's say this is phi 2. This the difference in phase angle will be the dif will be the difference in between this phi 1 and phi 2. This electromagnetic wave will relate to space different to the distance and on the basis of this difference in phase angle will it will calculate the distance. That is what the principle of this EDM. So here, let's, as we are saying that the uh, wave which is uh, transmitted is having the phase angle as phi 1, while the wave which is reflected back is having the phase angle phi 2. So del phi, which is the phase difference, can be taken as phi 2 minus phi 1, where del phi is nothing but the phase difference. Phi 1 is phase angle of okay. and phi 2 is phase angle of reflected wave. When for example, if it takes the phi 2, the phase angle of the reflected wave is 270 degree and if phi 1 that is the phase angle of transmitted wave is 180 degree then the phase difference will be 90 degree. This is the phase angle. How will this phase angle, distance staying a phase angle, will be reflected or uh, will be uh, converted into the distance uh, by correlating it with the length, uh, wave length of the wave?
here, we can calculate the distance using the formula tan equal to d equals to tan m plus 6.667 to where m is the whole wavelength number. So by using this, we can calculate the distance. We can call it as is the best difference with the distance and we can calculate the, the distance. Vertical angle 
horizontal angle and vertical angle directly on the display. So we need not take the reading, simply just use it and it will automatically display the horizontal vertical angle on the display unit board with an accuracy of 1 second. While in the previous one, we were having the least count of 20 seconds. So here it improves the accuracy as well as preciseness. That is the reason that during the field work of triangulation, one of the step or one of the last step of triangulation is measurement of horizontal angle. So for measuring the horizontal angle, the data to write is on the equipment which is required for that step, which is the last step in triangulation. So this <coughs> it is time it is time saving equipment as well as we can get a uh, good degree of accuracy, or greater degree of degree of accuracy, and we prefer this digital third light. The components, it has these uh, the other components, telescope, clamp screw, level head, circular level, plate level, optimum plummet, display window, and the tripod. These were the uh, these are some of the components. In its application, as we say, it can measure the horizontal angles as well as the vertical angles. It can be used for long span bridges for measuring the center to center distance between the column as well as between the piers as well as abutments. Survey, it can we can do survey during day as well as during night times. Uh, drainage and irrigation work for setting out of various other kinds of works also we can use for this digital light. What is total station? If you will take the summation of all the facilities of EDM plus the facility in digital to the light, it will take the percentage of these two instruments within one instrument, then the, the instrument will be called the total station. Means the total instrument has the, all the facilities which are available in EDM and digital to the light. So we have reduced, we have minimized, uh, uh, we have minimized these two instruments within the one instrument, that is total instrument. It can be connected with the computer and uh, because while doing the work, it, is, it restores the data automatically and that one, we can connect this with the laptop or the system or to say the computer and we can get all the data directly. Its images are exactly the same as whatever we have discussed in helium and digital photo light. And the GPS. What is the GPS? It is nothing but the global positioning system. Global positioning system. It is used to identify the position of a particular on a globe. Where it is, that we can also find out using this GPS. It is generally added by the uh, network of 24 satellites which are uh, available in space. Originally, actually, it was established by the U.S. Department of Defense, that is known as DoD. But later on, it was made free to use for all the civilians. Its the block one was launched in uh, the 1978. And the block one, the 10 satellite was launched in the block one, that is known as block one, just 10 satellites were launched in 1978, that was called as block one. Then in block two, the 13 satellite was launched in 1989, in the duration of this four years, that is 1989 to 1993. And the last one, that is 24th number of satellites was launched in the Year 1994. So total number of satellites are 24. If we take some vision of these, this is 24 number of satellite. But out of this 24, four satellites as in the DOD keeps the four satellites in reserve to replace the destroyed satellite. When your satellite is destroyed, he can replace means he keeps these in spare. We can say that they keep these in reserve. The four satellite. If anyone is destroyed, they can take the work from this four. So total 24 satellites we have. After that, the four are kept in reserve. What are the applications of this GPS? One is location for determining the basic position for the navigation purposes, getting from one location to another. And for tracking purposes also we use the GPS that is monitoring the movement of the people and things. Then for mapping, that creating maps and all, timing, providing the precise timing for all these things. They are some of the application of the GPS. And your digital planimeter. Where we use the digital planimeter, what is the basic function of planimeter? To calculate or measure the area of irregular 
bodies. For placing the area of the regular bodies, we use the equipment that is nothing but the planning job. Okay. This is the digital planning meter. This is nothing but this is roller. This is the roller. This is the digital board or the control panel. You can say this is the control panel. This is the control panel. These are the function key. This is the display board and this is the tracing magnifier and this is called as tracing R. On this, this control panel, as we are in function key, we have so many function key. One is this on, that means power on key is off, that means the power of key. This is O to G. This is nothing but this is O to G. This is the O to G. This means this is the numerical key, 1, 2, 3, 4 and all. And this is decimal. Point E, this is decimal point E. Then we have the next this is. And where this is the start one to start measuring for tracing purpose, to start the tracing work or to start the measurement. For this the start and this hold H O L E for temporary put measurement on the hold or to pause the work at the quarter time for some it can hold for some duration. Then this is the memo, MEMO, that is ending measurement and storing, reading in the memory. For this, the memo that we A D E R for taking the address of certain number of readings. Then we have unit one, these are unit selection keys. Unit two, unit selection with the particular category scale for scale setting key. And the last one is C by S C, that is a clear key. Means is erase the memory and reading with this with the zero. Means uh, in normal way we can understand it is nothing but format key. So how this work? Suppose how we will measure the area of this area body using this planning meter. Let's take the example of this. This is the area body, or it's the more than that. This is the area body. We want to find out the area of this. What we will do? First of all, we will point out the starting point on this. Then. This is tracing magnifier. We will bring this tracing magnifier over this point. You can see here, this we have marked already a starting point. This is the starting point. When the tracing magnifier will be brought over this and we will try to measure the center of this tracing magnifier with this starting point. One, it will be missed. One by one, it will be exactly over this. After that, we will press this start button from the this function key. We will press this start button and we will start from this uh, pressing arm over this. While we will take care that this uh, center of this pressing magnifier should be exactly over this boundary. So we will try to we will try to move this uh, pressing magnifier with the help of this pressing arm over this body. And once we will reach at the, this position. We will press the button memo. Once it will complete one whole round, and here we will take care. Once we will round this tracing uh, magnifier, we have to round in a clockwise direction. We have to round in a clockwise direction. This we have to take care. Means once initially we have kept the tracing magnifier exactly over it, after that we have to move the tracing magnifier in a clockwise direction. Okay. Once it will complete one whole circle, or one, uh, we have, it will complete one cycle, and it will reach again on the starting point. We will press the memo button on the display on this function key. So the what we will do, it will record the reading of that. It will record the reading of this first trial. Again, we will repeat the same procedure. We will we will try to take at least the three trials again. We will press the start button here and again we will, roam in, we will move in a clockwise direction. And once we complete one whole circle, again we will press the button memo. So it will again record the reading for the second trial. Then we have to go for one more trial, that third trial. So we have to repeat the same procedure 
After editing, we will have to press again memo, so it will record the editing of third trial. So now the reading for all the three trials is recorded in the memory of planning maker. After completing, completing the three trial, we have to press the button A V E R ever. So this will take what this ever will do. This will take the average of these three and it will display the result on this display board. So this is how we can calculate the area using this digital planning meter. Just we need to take care about this function keys, which function key means to what and accordingly and uh, while moving just we have to move in a clockwise direction. At last directly it will display the area. So it is very simple as compared to the previous one and the degree of accuracy is very high as well as it is a time saving. So there are some of the important equipment what we have discussed today's class. Thank you.